Hello Nintendo Wii here, today we'll be taking a look at some rare and interesting Nintendo merchandise. These are Nintendo Pez dispensers or other sweets. This Mario one's an official Pez one, who uh, lift his head up in the sweets client. And then these three are from a different kind of sweet called Click. So you uh, use that clip on that side and the sweets come out from under the from under the character. So they're quite cool. There's a series of uh, Nintendo pullbacks. So that, that, was, uh, that one had a helicopter blade on the front. There's Mario on a skateboard and also Luigi on a cloud. I'm not really sure why Mario's on a helicopter or a skateboard because they're not actually in the games, but it's strange. Here's a Super Mario Galaxy sticker book from when Super Mario Galaxy 1 was out. Um, they don't do the stickers anymore, obviously, but you could buy them in shops and then use them to fill in the pictures. I didn't finish it, but I'm sure someone out there has. Original Game Boy carry case. This thing is huge. It's supposed to put the Game Boy and all the accessories inside it. And I did actually use it. It's got slots for the games on that side, so you can fit quite a lot of games in there. But very bulky, and it does have a handle, so you can carry it around with you as well. E-reader for the Game Boy Advance. Comes with lots of cards that you scan through the top um, to unlock mini games and things. Really neat idea, but not. It wasn't actually that well used, and it was never released here in the UK. So it's sort of a collector's item. This is a Donkey Kong Hockey Micro VS machine. The strange thing about this console is, although it's a Game & Watch, there's the standard Game A, Game B, and time buttons, the controller for the game is actually inside the system itself. So you open it up, and there's the controllers. They unwind. Quite a long cable, so you can do multiplayer. So you'd balance the machine on the table, and then the two the two different players could each have their own controls. These are quite strange. These are Game Boys. You put the thing up to your eye and when you press down the button it changes to a different image. So this one's from Yoshi's Story as you can see, just about. And they all have different games inside. So this one is Mario Kart 64. So it's basically a little slideshow machine inside a little clicky one. I think these ones are Pokemon. No, this one's Mario 64. It's got some quite rare artwork as well that I haven't actually seen before. For example, that, that one. So they are quite neat. Let's see what's in this, one. this one's got Pokemon from Red and Blue. Now this is a very strange item. I got this from school. There was a talk about construction sites and they're giving away these badges. Basically it says Mario's got more than one, one life. You haven't. So I've never actually seen one before, and I've never seen any on eBay or anything. So. Nothing really special about the Mario Bros show, but you would think that this is a double video pack, but actually what came in the back was a radio, a Super Mario Bros. radio, I couldn't find it, but it's got the standard video on that side, and then in the other side there was a radio, which is quite strange. This was exclusive to game, if you pre-ordered the GameCube, you'd get this um, demo video thing that showed off all the launch games which is quite rare and Interstate Electronics Boutique as well which are no longer around and this Super Mario All-Stars video isn't actually just about Super Mario All-Stars it's all about the Nintendo hotline when you phone up and it was um, presented by Craig Charles which is kind of strange nothing that special but this is a Lilac Wars pencil case a Super Mario Bros board game there's also a Legend of Zelda one There's the board. Basically there's bricks here and every time you land on a square you can take take away a brick and then you have to make your way to the castle and then pick one of four circles in the middle and one of them has the princess and the other four say your princess isn't in this castle, try again and then you go back to your original start point and depending on what card you pick up you either get coins or get things taken away from. There's quite a lot of these but here's just some of them. These are Nintendo Game & Watch games on key rings so you can put that on your keys and then if you're bored you can play Donkey Kong Jr. is this one. It's Mario's Cement Factory. Uh, Super Mario Bros, which is actually a side-scrolling platformer, but with Game & Watch graphics. There's also a, there's dual-screen versions as well, like Zelda. There's two mini key rings. This one is a Famicom. It did have re uh, detachable controllers, but I've lost them. And this one is a DS Lite, and you can actually open it up, and it has new Super Mario Bros inside. These were given away in McDonald's. This is a Super Monkey Ball one, but there's also Sonic and lots of other Sega and Nintendo games. 
an official how to draw Zelda guide from when Ocarina of Time was out. It gives you uh, details on how to draw all the different creatures and characters from the games. So it's a Hylian soldier from Ocarina of Time. There's Ganondorf. So you start off with the basic outlines and then somehow you end up like that. Although I'm sure if I did it, it wouldn't be that good. There's Link. Came with New Super Mario Bros. and Mario Galaxy 2. They're money boxes. They both have pictures on. Mario well, Galaxy 2 one's full of money right now, but there's some pictures for it. This is the show guide that we got at the Zelda 25th Symphony concert in London. It has um, writing from all the staff at Nintendo and a list of all the songs that was on. So that's a very good collectible thing to have. And that on the back. And t shirts. This was a promotional t shirt for Wii Sports Resort, and on the back it says about Wii Motion Plus. Uh, this was worn in game for when the game came out. So that's cool to have. And this one is extremely rare. I only know of one place where you can get this, and that was at the Video Games Live. Uh, video Games Live show that was on in 2004 and this is Nintendo Pier. They had their stage set out like an actual pier at the seafront with the uh, Helter Skelter and everything. So I got this for playing Animal Crossing for a long time and so they just came over and gave it to me. That was uh, before the original DS came out, that was the first time I got to see it. Some energy drink cans, there's quite a lot of different ones but here's some Nintendo ones, there's Donkey Kong and Mario, we've also got Mega Man, all sorts of things. That's it really, just a quick video to show you some interesting Nintendo things that I have that aren't games. So, thanks for watching, I'll make another video soon, bye.